daily video. In today's video, we are talking about the Jeep Gladiator and the new Toyota Supra. For both of us, those have been new vehicles that are now released that we're really, really excited about. Uh, there's a lot of hype on them, a lot of people love them and hate them. So today we're gonna talk about buying them because you guys have seen some videos, the really recently video, him considering trading the Tacoma for the Gladiator. I've been talking about buying a Supra. I talked about trading the GTR for one, but I quickly realized that would be ridiculous. Just buying a Supra with the GTR would be amazing. So we're gonna kinda talk it out because they're not cheap, obviously. It's a big decision. Mm -hmm. We're full-time yep. YouTubers, so our cars is a you know about 50% of our channel. So we gotta have fun cars that have a lot of content. So we're gonna kinda talk it out and see what makes yep. sense and hopefully come up with a decent idea. Haven't seen them in person yet, so you know, we gotta see them first yeah, before we do it. It's a big factor. Well, yeah, hopefully you saw the two last videos talking about the Gladiator. We've had pretty much a lot of people say, don't trade the Tacoma for a Gladiator. Talks really? about reliability, everyone seems to love the Tacoma. I mean, that, that's almost more popular than the GTR right now it on our a channel. Lot, yeah. it's, it's a lot of views. It's well over two million yeah. total views. So I, I love the Tacoma, don't get me wrong, and trading it for a Gladiator, people saying, oh, why you hate that truck, just get rid of it. I mean, it's my second one, I love it. It's, it's not an easy decision to trade it for a Gladiator, but financially from our standpoint of being YouTubers, is that something to yeah. get for the channel, but at the same time I have to keep my emotions yeah. with what I want, not yeah. necessarily what will do better, because if I don't like it, then I don't like it. Yeah, because even if you buy a car that's popular, if you don't like it, your videos probably aren't going to do well, because people want to see you love your car, and obviously we love our cars. And Except for the five things I hate about it. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> You have to make that video because not a yeah. perfect. And the people who don't take it seriously, they understand the meaning of that video. And we did a quick poll on Instagram. It was like 75% of you said no, don't trade the Tacoma for the Gladiator. The other 25% said yes. So after the two videos, uh, we spec yeah. one out. We looked at the pricing. Again, this is all before dealership stuff, so we don't know exact pricing, but I mean, what's your opinion as of now? If I don't want to get into a base model, it's going to be 10 to 15 grand more than the Tacoma. The Tacoma's almost already paid off. Yeah. At the same time, it's like, well, there's one payment out of the way, and I just have a truck that's paid for, and we keep doing content on it because it's very popular. There's a lot of things I can still do, technically. Or start off with a Gladiator that's more expensive, parts are cheaper, but yeah. if it's not something I really love or want... Seems like a lot of money to spend for the hopes that it's all YouTube will pay for, which... Yeah. yeah we... And for those of you who don't know, videos don't make twenty grand a video. That's some maybe some literally make twenty dollars. So it's not. Like yeah. <laughs> and I made the mistake when I got the Lotus. If you guys remember that, we were so excited that oh, I'm getting a Lotus at a young age. It's our YouTube channel is going to blow up. That car is going to do great. And uh, that didn't happen. It and got no views. I no don't videos. regret getting rid of the Lotus either because it just I didn't love it as much as I thought I would love it. It helping the channel grow. Yeah, people liked it in person because you didn't see them anywhere. But yeah, on YouTube, no big goose egg of a car. Yeah, didn't do anything. So I don't want to make that mistake again because at the end of the day, it's what I want to spend my money on. No need to waste some what we all want to have fun on. Yeah, so I don't want to re go down that road again. Even though this one would be an off road, <laughs> we have to see it. We have to drive it. Just see if it makes sense for us. But I don't think either of us are excited for that. Yeah. as the Supra and some other cars. So the Supra, uh, I don't, I haven't made a video telling you this yet, I don't think. I am on the list with my Toyota dealer to buy one. So I'm actually literally like first in line or on the first list when they get their first batch, I have a pick. They're gonna get, I don't, I don't know how many, they don't even know any specs, colors or anything. They just know they're getting a first batch like, I don't know, four months from now mm -hmm. and they will call me, I will go to the dealer and pick one out and hopefully I can afford it. I don't actually know if that is gonna work or not. I've been saving for it for the last year, so I've been really budgeting to be able to afford it. So I really, really do want to buy the Supra, like personally, I don't even care about the YouTube stuff. I just, I really do like the car. Even though I know half people hate it, I think it's gonna be the perfect daily driver. It's just gonna have everything that I really want in just a nice sports car, but normal, smooth, daily. And having it next to the GTR for like YouTube sake. That'd be pretty sweet. Having the Supra and the Skyline, while they're not at all competitors, the GTR is gonna destroy the Supra in every single category. I mean, having those iconic names, those are the cars that I've dreamed about. Since I'm a 90s kid, I mean, Fast and Furious, of course, yeah. is my favorite movie, and 
seeing the Super and Skyline together, those, just the names. I don't even care that it's a BMW, but... <laughs> BMW Super. Yeah, those names are iconic, and that's such a big dream of mine. But, with that said, what if I buy the Jeep Gladiator? Because I've been budgeting for a $55,000 car to add to my GTR. Obviously, GTR is not cheap. A Gladiator, I could get a good one for maybe under 50. So now I can buy a car that's cheaper than what I've been planning for, which is good for my bank account, of course. And then I'll have a truck, and he'll have the competitor truck. Yeah. So we can have all that Jeep Gladiator content, which I'm sure that's going to do really well. But then compare them literally because the Tacoma is the best in its category. It's been the best in its class forever. And I think the Gladiator is now going to be the complete rival. We'll have those rivals. It would be pretty cool. And it won't Go be... off-roading and see... Yeah, see the differences. What the really... difference, yeah. And it won't be like if he buys... We haven't talked about that yet. Oh, yeah, we didn't. But let's just say okay. he has a Tacoma and a Gladiator. He'll have the emotion of, oh, they're both mine. I'm not going to say one's better than the other. But being mm-hmm. brothers, having competitors, I'm going to say mine's better no matter what. He's going to say his is better. Yeah. We'll have that rivalry, which could be cool. It so, could be. So then, if I'm not buying a Supra... Then I might be buying a Supra <laughs> because... As much as I love the R8, everybody loves it in person. It's a great car. So nice. It's, it's so fun. It's like the Lotus on YouTube. No, unless we don't portray the car well in our videos, it doesn't do as well as the GTR and the Tacoma. And it's a car that I love, like I want. I don't want to get rid of it. But at the same time, getting the Supra, like he said, that, that's just what we've wanted. Like a, a Toyota Supra. I mean, yeah. That puts a smile on my face too, but if, if I could have the Supra and my R8, yeah, I think that would be way cooler. And find out. I'm oh, sorry. Uh, I want the R8 for me. Like yeah. even if I never filmed another video on it again, yeah. I don't want to get rid of it. Like it's I, hard. I don't know what it is. Like the R8. I mean, comment below. What do you guys think? Because literally, the R8 videos might get a couple thousand views. Mm-hmm. And for those who think that's millions of dollars, that's like <laughs> ten dollars. So it's literally not worth filming a video with that car, just because. Yeah. From a business standpoint, why waste your whole day to make ten dollars? You're you're losing money. So not to say it's all about money, because it's not. But from a business standpoint, this is our job right now. And does it make sense to have a seventy-three thousand dollar car that doesn't make you any money? Right. It's, it sucks because, I mean, we're not in a financial position to, you know, for him to have, buy another car and have that, you know, we're not making millions of dollars, of course, but... I would have to trade it. Yeah, trading in the R8, my only concern, and one thing, it's a car, you can always buy another one. In two years, if it makes sense to have that extra third car that is not for business, just completely just for you, um, and you can buy another one, there's be tens out there, it's not like, you yeah. know, a one-off car. Yeah. But my concern is, would a Toyota dealership value it trading it in? Because if we're buying these brand new cars, we have to be first. We gotta get them as soon as they hit dealer lots. Mm-hmm. What if Toyota doesn't value the R8 as it should be? Because that is a rare car, a very, very particular spec. It's a two owner car now. Uh, it'll be traded 100% back to stock, of course. That There's a lot of value to it. It hasn't depreciated because of what it is, especially with the manual transmission. Mm-hmm. What if they value it off book value, which I don't know if it has KVB or NAD or something, but... I don't think it does. What if they value it at a $50,000 old Audi when we know we can sell for seventy grand tomorrow to yeah. the right buyer? Yeah. So that's a car that... And that takes time. Yeah, that's, that's a car I would consign a private sell just because to maximize the money because that car is worth it. So what if basically I buy Gladiator, which is then within a month, It'd be cheaper than what I was planning for the Supra. So I have a GTR and a Gladiator. I have a truck. Now I can do truck stuff by myself. I don't have to rely on his truck. And I have a sports car. I do all sports car stuff. He trades the R8, which sucks. But trading in for a car that will do better for our business. And then he'll have a truck and a car. Both Toyotas. So yeah, he'll have that cool. Toyota thing going. Yeah. We'll have the two rivals. The Supra and the Skyline. And the Jeep and the Tacoma. And do that it for like a year. It could be a lot of content. Yeah. yeah. So that's an idea. Um, what do you guys think? We're we're com- contemplating that. The only thing is, like he said earlier, I want a Supra more than I want a Jeep. And you guys know, like when I smile when I see my car drive, I freaking love the GTR. And I'm not planning to sell it. I think when I sell it, it'll be for a new GTR. Like honestly, I want a Supra more than a Jeep. And see if so if far. neither of us get the Jeep and he gets a Supra, yeah. What do do you I do? sell my car for? A- the first what, MK4 yeah. Supra, like a 98 or 99. Probably it'd be like a yeah, 97 yeah. or 60, 93 to 97. So we'll have the old and the new Supra. Yeah, having the, it's not the original Supra, but the yeah. iconic Supra that we all know and love. Yeah. And the, 
BMW uh, it's a clone that everyone hates, <laughs> that I still love, yeah. and the Skyliner, the GTR, to be faster than all of them. That would be more of a project car Yeah, that we could just do full whatever yeah. on. So let us know in the comments below what car, I guess, do you want to see? Yeah. What do you think? Which one we should get yeah. and why? And what, what makes the most sense? Because it'd be, it'd be cool to have the four cars, the Super Skyline. Gladiator and Tacoma, because that's that's a really cool four set of cars. Yeah, uh, we could test out the Gladiator next month and hate it and say that I, I just don't like it, which I, I'm not going to buy something I don't like it. Or we could test drive it and I could fall in love with it and say this is the truck that I've always wanted that I didn't know I wanted, and yeah. say you know what, it's cheaper than the Supra. I'll get this now. If he gets the Supra, I still get to enjoy a new Supra. Yeah, and then maybe when they come out with a manual one, then trade my Gladiator for the manual Supra. So there's a there's a lot of ways we could go. Yeah, uh, we're. And we're curious to see what you guys think, but at the same time, we need to do yeah. what we think is right. Yeah. So we're not, we're not, we value your opinions. We're not going to make the decision because of YouTube, yeah. because I'm, I cannot spend a penny on anything if I don't love it. So I'm not going to buy the Jeep if I don't like it. If I don't like the Supra, I'm not going to buy it. But as of now, yeah. I really, really, really want a Supra. <laughs> yeah. But see, another thing, what if I buy the Supra like I'm planning? What if he trades the R8 for the Jeep and has two trucks? But then it's like, why do you need two trucks? It's like, why do I need two trucks? And if we go somewhere, you have to drive one of them. So we'll see. You know, we'll, we'll see what makes sense. Uh, yeah. On, I mean, obviously, this is a business we're running, so we have to be profitable and smart with it. Mm -hmm. uh, we're not going to obviously waste money on something that is stupid or whatever. Well, <laughs> but uh, we just have to see what works for us and what we think will work for the channel yeah. at the same time. Like our cars, like if you guys have seen, like you know, we get about one and a half million views a month. Only about fifty thousand are subscriber views. So our review videos, that kind of stuff, that gets our most views. Subscribers don't necessarily subscribe because of review videos, they're subscribing because of our cars. So our yeah. cars kind of build a subscriber base, a fan base, I guess. Let's work together. What do you think makes the most sense? Those are the two hottest cars that are affordable that we are liking. Yeah. Um, the mid-engine Corvette, and that's next year, but that could be a six-figure car. I'm not quite ready for that. The new Shelby Mustang, I'm assuming, is could be a six very expensive six too. Car. But these cars, $50,000 mark, that's attainable. We can each have two cars, that's as much as we can afford right now, and I mean, those are cars I love. And even driving expensive supercars, I'm less pumped to buy like a Lamborghini one day than I am to buy like a nice super or something. Yes. You get about the same amount of fun in them, in all honesty. But uh, that's kind of our thought process with the Supra and the Gladiator. So we'll see. Yeah. We got a couple months here coming to check everything out and put a plane together. Yeah. So. Yeah, comment below what you guys think the best bet to go is. As you know, I have a GTR with my only car. He's got the R8 and the Tacoma. I well, really hate to sell the R8. Yeah. That's one thing. It would suck to sell a car you love yeah. that was a one-owner mint car. The, I mean, it's going to be hard to find. It'll take a while. While I can find another R8, it took me three months to find this one. Yeah. And this is like, the dude had it for eight and a half years. Every 5,000 miles. It was, it was a happened. baby. Yeah. So it would, it would suck to get rid of it for a car that you might not even like that much and always regret it. Yeah. Because then that's, that's no way to live with buyer's remorse and regret. Yeah. I, don't re I don't regret getting rid of the Lotus because I got a Tacoma. Yeah. I yeah. like that better. Yeah. So we'll see. Yeah, we'll see what makes sense. We got to make the best sense for the business and then the most sense for owning cars. So we love yeah. cars. We want to own what we want and make good content that people want to see. Unfortunately, nobody really cares about the R8. If there's anything you want to see on it, I don't think we portray supercars that well because we don't beat on them. You yeah, know, I, we don't other, have the funds to just, blow through a set of tires every week yeah. or put more carbon fiber on it. I mean, yeah, there's other channels that do that. Yeah. I mean, they do a great job. We're not going to destroy our cars. We can't afford to do that. We can yeah. afford to maintain them nicely and enjoy them responsibly. <laughs> yeah. But we're not at that level, so we can't kill our car and make yeah. crazy destroy my differential donut in the GTR videos. That's going to wrap up today's video talking about two popular vehicles that we may or may not add to the channel. Yeah. And we don't know who's going to get one yeah. or the other. Yeah. It, so We don't know. It could be cool. Yeah. Who knows how it works uh, financially and emotionally because it's got to make sense in every single aspect. So, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up, smash that subscribe button, comment down below your thoughts. We go through all the comments, so we will see it. Check out new merchandise in the description below. We have outlines of all the vehicles and the 370Z, so definitely check that out. But yeah, that is effectively gonna wrap up today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll see you guys next video.